you're working on a goal right now and you want to quit. Like, I'm so there with you. I'm so there. So on Thursday, I did something that I've been thinking about forever. I went back to Weight Watchers. I'm a lifetime Weight Watchers member, which means uh, that I lost weight on Weight Watchers in the past, five years ago to be exact. I hit my goal weight. I kept my goal weight for at least six weeks, and then I quit. Now, Honestly, with that whole like weight loss thing, I kept it off for a really long time, about three or four years. I even got pregnant during that time and then took the weight off after that. But in the last year, I've put on about 17 pounds because of medications I've been on and health problems I've been having. So it was just time to go back. So it's been five days now where I've been doing the Weight Watchers program and I kind of want a cookie. I I can't stop thinking about all the Girl Scout cookies that are in our garage and how I can just break into a Samoa's box and take out one of those caramel chocolatey cookies with like the buttery, the butteriness of the cookie and the, the coconut and the, God, I want it so bad, but I'm not going to quit. It's only been five days and even though I'm in this hard part right now um, where like my mouth's watering and like seriously, I. My water's not even there. Like, I usually take some water when I really want it, but I just, I need to stop talking about it. I use three tactics to get me through this hard part, and a lot of people refer to it as the messy middle. It's the part where you, after you start the goal and all that initial enthusiasm has worn off, um, in that middle part where you're not yet seeing results and you don't even know if results will come and you doubt your whole meaning of life, uh, that's the messy middle. And so here's some things to help you get through that. Number one, you need to start with a very strong why. So my why is my daughter. I want my daughter to be a healthy eater. I want her to have a lot of pride about her body. Um, and I don't want her to go through the same struggles that I went through growing up where I just didn't like the way I looked and I thought I was fat. Like I remember in middle school going shopping for clothes and I was a size 13 or 14 and nothing looked cute and even those were too tight and they pinched me around the middle and I just did not feel good about myself ever like ever about my body I don't want her to go through that but I know that I need to be the role model uh, so she is my why she is always my why she's nine right now and dag nabbit I am going to show her what it means to be a healthy adult and have a healthy relationship with food so find your why uh, the second one is uh, write down your next action steps. When you're in the heat of the moment, like I am right now where I really want that cookie, uh, sometimes I need to take action and I need to either focus my mind on something else or I need to take action to that specific goal. Uh, for this dieting thing, I found that it's easier to focus my mind on something else other than food. So instead of eating the cookie, I went and I curled my hair. I'm making this video for you all. I took my dog for a walk. Like my dog is going to be so well exercised by the time this is all done. Uh, but take action and write down your next steps. If you're pursuing a goal, maybe you wanna grow your business, write down the next steps that you need to take and then take those without thinking. Like make it a checklist, check them off as you go. Uh, and I get like little highs every time I do a check. So maybe you're the same. So that's take action to your goals by writing out your next steps. Number three, I have to look at my notes, commit to a specific time period. This is something that my friend Jennifer uses all the time where she doesn't know if something works, but you can't really tell if it'll work unless you've been doing it for a while. So she commits to a specific time period. She says, okay, for the next 12 weeks, this is gonna be my thing. I'm just going to do this. I'm not gonna look at my results. I'm just going to do it. So with me and Weight Watchers, for the next 12 weeks, I prepaid, this is gonna be my thing. I'm going to track what I eat on my phone and I'm going to stay within my points limits and not devour all the sugar that I can because I want it. That's really sad. I can get over that, but I'm committed. I am committed for these next 12 weeks and you know from dieting in the past and if you're going for like a new year's resolution where you have to diet too I can tell you that these first few weeks are the hardest and it does get easier like that's what's keep getting me through right now I know that these are the strongest cravings I will ever have 
um, and then after that it'll just become a normal part of life. Like not that I'll have cravings, but more that I they, they'll disappear and my body will be used to my healthy way of eating. So that's it. That's how you get through the messy middle. I want to hear from you. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what goals you're working on right now and if you want to quit. And don't quit. Please don't quit. Use one of these tactics. Tell me how it goes and I will talk to you later. Bye.